grandfather's clock was too tall for the shelf, so it stood ninety years on the floor. It was taller by half than the old man himself, though it weighed not a penny weight more. It was bought on the morn of the day that he was born, and was always his treasure and his pride. But it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering, tick-tock, tick-tock, his life seconds numbering, tick-tock, tick-tock, but it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. In watching its pendulum swing to and fro, many hours had he spent when a boy. And through childhood and manhood the clock seemed to know and to share both his grief and his joy. For it struck twenty-four when he opened up the door with a blooming and beautiful bride. But it stopped short, never to go again when the old man Without slumbering, tick tock, tick tock, his life seconds numbering, tick tock, tick tock, but it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. My grandfather said that of those he could hire, not a servant so faithful he found. For it kept perfect time, and it had one desire at the close of each day to be wound. And it kept to its place, not a frown upon its face, and its hands never hung by its side. But it stopped short, never to go again when the Without slumbering, tick tock, tick tock, his life seconds numbering, tick tock, tick tock, but it stopped.